brushes flew already and I haven't even moved in. <laughs> My name is Lexi Williams and this is possibly the most anticipated freshers video. I know last year, like before I decided to take my gap year, I used to watch loads of these. I know people have been watching them this year. Have I left it kind of late? Yes. I'm moving in less than 24 hours and I have not packed. But this video is me going through my things and I'm going to pack afterwards because then I'll like know that I have everything. And if I don't have anything, that's a problem for me tomorrow. But as you can see from the title, this is a first year uni haul, so let's get into the video. So if you guys don't know, I'm going to the University of Manchester and the accommodation that I'm staying in is Unsworth Park, which is on suite accommodation. It's like one of the newest accommodations in Manchester. The only issue that may occur is that the flats are like nine or ten people, which means I'm sharing a kitchen with eight or nine other people, which could get interesting. There may be beef in this channel. We don't know. Let's hope my flatmate is clean, otherwise we will have problems, but we move. I asked you guys over on my Instagram what kind of thing you wanted to see in this haul, and you guys voted for stationery, bathroom and bedroom decor, and kitchen supplies. So if you guys want to get involved in future videos, make sure you follow my Instagram over at Lexi Williams, and let's get into the video. Okay, so starting off with stationery, my kind of main forms of note taking are going to be iPad notes and then for kind of big lectures and stuff I'm going to be using my laptop. So yeah, my first piece of stationery is my iPad Pro. I got it as a birthday present and I just think it will make life easier for me because I'm doing developmental biology with Japanese if you didn't know and biology like annotating things, diagrams and then with Japanese when you're writing it's not like a cross like with the English, so like for writing exams it's down and backwards so I just think it'll just be a lot easier to do it on the iPad and then obviously with that I have like the little Apple Pencil and then the magic keyboard, all of which birthday presents so thank you to my family for buying them for me. And then also with my iPad I'm purely going to keep it for like studying so like no YouTube, no Netflix, just pure study based work on that and then because I bring my laptop as well I'm going to use that for like video editing, YouTube, Netflix because I'm not bringing like a TV or anything like that because I don't even watch TV and we have a TV in our kitchen and it's a fat TV so if I do want to watch TV I'm just going to go there and use that. Saying that, I did also buy some notebooks, like, just in case, because maybe I decide that I hate taking notes on the iPad. But these are scan and save as well, which is really good, so it means that I can, like, write notes on these and then, like, scan it and upload it onto my iPad. So, like, say it died one day or something, I always just have kind of, like, a backup notebook, which I can then transfer the notes onto my iPad with. Next up, I just got some, like, cutesy pastel stationery. Lord knows if I'll use this, but it's always fun to just have some like cute girly stuff to like motivate you, you know? And then I also got like a fat pack of post-it notes. I do like using post-its, so these will get used like definitely, especially like when I'm learning kanji and stuff, I like to like leave them around my room just to kind of like remind me. And then I do just have some like normal black pens for like exams and stuff. These are my favourite kinds of like biros ever, like the brown stick pens, like they just write so smoothly and they feel so like nice in your hand. The deco definitely, definitely recommend these. The next thing I have is a weekly schedule. I love these, I use them at home like now. And I just think it's good to kind of have an overview of like your week, kind of point out the big main things. And I also like using these to like meal plan, but I use them more just for dinners as opposed to like breakfast and lunches so I'll just kind of like write what I plan to have each day and then if I have any like lectures or like things due or whatever you can just jot it down and just see like a big quick monthly overview not monthly weekly overview like a quick scan along those same lines is an academic journal I definitely think that everyone needs one of these this one's really cute just got all of the like Month's on side starts in July and goes till June, so like, as I said, full academic one, and 
Oh, that's so mad. I just found out that I had the chance to win some free pens. And I've had this for quite a while, so I don't know why I've only just found that little note now. But then what I also like about this is it has like a uh, monthly overview as well. So any kind of big events I've already filled in, like moving day, freshers week, etc. Then my last two like stationery items are kind of just like personal to me. This is my goals journal. I got it from the range, I think, like ages ago. Started in January and it just kind of helps me keep a focus. So you write down like four main goals each month, what you're gonna kind of do to achieve those goals, what you're gonna reward yourself with if you do achieve those goals. And yeah, I just think it's really important to set goals because it kind of gives you something to work towards. And then the last thing is this. This is like my monthly journal, I guess. So I just kind of, at the end of each month, I kind of write a wrap up of each month, the kind of highlights and like, if there are any lows, what I'm expecting out from the new month, if I think there'll be any challenges. And then when the next month is over, I kind of review that, review the month, the goals or challenges that I said I might have the month before, were they really challenges? And yeah, I think kind of, at the end of the year it'll be good to look back on this and kind of see what I've been doing with my life and also it's fat and I only write like two three pages each month so this will last me a while so seeing what where I'm at when I get to the end of this or like even in like three four years time will be really good to look back on but yeah that is it for my stationary things so on to kitchen supplies if you guys know me you know like I'd say I'm quite well versed in the kitchen I do really enjoy cooking and through that, I've, I've become accustomed to a certain quality of things in the kitchen. So I, I do have some gadgets that I will be bringing with me because I just don't know how I would live without them. So the first gadget I have is my Nutribullet. Like, I love making smoothies. I use these to make baked oats, like to whiz up the oats and stuff. So I couldn't not bring a Nutribullet with me to uni. The second thing I'm bringing is a rice cooker. Yes, I can cook rice in a pot, but do you know how much easier it is to cook rice than a rice cooker? Plus it's got a steamer so I can steam vegetables and stuff, so it just makes life a bit easier. Third thing I'm bringing with me is an air fryer. If, you, if you've never had an air fryer, let me tell you, these things are magical. You cook so many things in an air fryer. Speeds up the cooking time, they come out crispy and delicious. Also, really good for reheating takeaways. You know when you get like chips and stuff, and then the next day they just taste like really bad? Air fryer, trust me, it will sort out all of your life problems. And then, obviously like pots and pans and stuff. So, the last massive box I have, is this like big set of two fry pans. I know some people are like, yeah, you just need like one pot and like one frying pan. That's not gonna work for me. As I said, I like cooking. I like doing multiple bits at once. I might have like a sauce going on in one pot, vegetables going in another pot, one frying pan for this meat, one frying pan for that meat. So multiple pots were needed and multiple pans. So yeah, I'm just gonna bring this whole little tea fowl set. So now onto like plates and everything. I got these plates from Sainsbury's, like designs a bit different, really cool. Hopefully no one else will have these, so I know that it's mine. But yeah, I got two big dinner plates. And then originally when I went to buy them, they had they didn't have the dinner plates, like the set they had was the bowls and then these two smaller plates. So I bought two of the smaller plates, but then I went to a different Sainsbury's and I found like the bigger dinner plates, so like lunches or when we're trying to do like portion control we'll use the small plates otherwise we'll use like the normal dinner plates and then i got two pasta bowls in the same design because a uni student loves a bit of pasta also for like curries and things like bowls will grow And then I just got two little cereal bowls. I don't really think you need more than two of anything because like one for you and one if you have a guest, you know? Or like if you smash it, you've got a spare. And then for glasses, I went to Dunham and these are just one pound each and I got this pink spotty one. I got two pink ones and then I got two yellow ones as well. Also from Dunham, I got two mugs. I got this pink one for me. I'm not really a tea or a coffee drinker, but when it does get cold, I am a big fan of a hot chocolate every now and again, so. A mug was essential, and then one for a guest, or if you break it. 
I also got my cutlery from Donnell. I'm just like little cream bottoms, five pounds. I'm not gonna need a 16 piece cutlery set, but who knows, like if people steal my stuff or it disappears. I also got this scale from Dunelm. This is good for measuring food and like weighing out things. Well, you guys know what scale is. But then also before, just before like, see my birthday's mid August, but kind of like end of June, beginning of July, I was really getting into fitness. Like I was going to the gym three times a week, starting to see some gains, like tracking macro, macros and stuff. But then my birthday hit and that kind of all flopped. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get back on it in uni. So scales. I've also got two mixing bowls. You can throw a salad in here or like marinating meat. Can't go wrong with a bowl. Next up, I also got this Pyrex dish from Dunelm. Lasagnas, kind of macaroni cheese. You just, you need a big dish. All these like, I don't know what you'd call them. Is it crockery? Like this kind of stuff, like I got a potato masher a spatula slash fish slice thing I got some measuring cups a wooden spoon a little tin opener a garlic press because I love garlic and dicing garlic is always just long my garlic press is just so much easier a cheese grater which I just got from Ikea the only thing I need to get like cut crockery cutlery wise is like tongs and then i'll be a happy girl i also got this little colander from asda i got three oven trays for cooking things in the oven and then to go alongside that i got some foil i got these shopping boards at Dunham and they come with two knives so i don't know why like some people are like you need one chopping board I'm not gonna lie guys, you need a chopping board for me and a chopping board for like veggies and stuff because that cross contamination don't know how good you guys are cleaning, don't know how good you guys are cooking, but it's all sounding like a bit of a haphazard to me, so two chopping boards, trust me. And then I went to Ikea and I picked up like this little basket thing and I'm just gonna use this to put like my spices in so they're nice and contained and when I'm like, ooh, let me reach for a spice, I can just put it out because I'm I'm so sorry. Salt and pepper will not cut it. I don't trust other people's cooking. I need my seasoning drawer. I also got a cutlery organiser because like I don't think people think this through like you're gonna have however many flatmates you have all your cutlery is gonna be thrown in a drawer together so I'm already kind of friends with one of my flatmates and we've decided to like share a drawer and stuff so I got this a little cutlery organiser just so our things aren't sprayed out everywhere next thing I got was this washing up sponge I was like what is this but yeah this is really cool like you just twist off the top and you put the washing up liquid in here and then it goes onto your things so you just and like i know you can get the dismatic ones but i just got this from like asda george and i literally think it's like 80p or something so like super cheap and then i got some fairy liquid because you need to wash your dishes i got some multi-surface data wipes just to make sure everything's nice and clean And last but not least, kitchen wise, I got these like food containers from Costco because I freeze a lot of food, like taking food, like packing it up and bringing it with me. So these will come in handy. And that is everything I got kitchen wise. So now let's move into the bathroom stuff. Okay, so onto bathroom stuff. Obviously, I have an ensuite, so the stuff that I might need and the stuff a shared bathroom might need might be a little different. But if you also have an ensuite, this is going to be perfect for you. And if not, still watch it because you're going to be living like your student house next year, and you might have an ensuite then. So, so the first thing I got was like this stall thing. You're probably thinking, why? There is proper etiquette to go into the bathroom like your body is supposed to be aligned in a certain way and just sitting on like the toilet normally does not align your body which makes it harder to like poop so get a stool trust me like it's a medical thing if i can find like a picture or like a scientific thing i'll put it here but yeah stools are good for properly aligning your rectal cavity the next thing I got was just like this grey bath mat. My bathroom is white and grey, so I kind of tried to follow that theme. I have a shower in my ensuite, so 
bath mat so the floor doesn't get all wet and I don't slip everywhere. As I mentioned before, I used to be like properly into gym and like get hench and stuff. Well, not hench, but like bad gains, you know. So I have this scale and this is like one of those smart scales that tracks like body fat or whatever. People say these don't really work, but like it's still a scale and I don't mind pretending, you know. I got a toilet brush from Asda. I got this like mirror thing. I got a soap dispenser. Is that what it's called? And I also got this little grey pot for like my toothbrush and my toothpaste. Don't forget a toothbrush and toothpaste. I got some like ultra fast anti back so I can just psh, 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 kill all the germs. And then I got cloths as well to like clean. I got hand soap for the bathroom. I got some Andrex flushable washlets once again for pooping. Next thing I got was this bin. Now, some people say that there are, but there is a bin, and some people say that there isn't. But either way, I think there's only one bin. So, bathroom bin, and if the bin that there is there is in the bathroom, not the bedroom, then I can just switch them because this obviously matches like my bathroom aesthetic that I've got going on. Once again, from Asda. Then I got two like flannels. I got a hand towel for drying my hands after like washing them. And also a uh, like just normal bath towel. Get two towels, two flannels, two, just two of everything, you know? I also got some like cotton pads and then I got like my cellar water and stuff just to like remove makeup or whatever. And finally for the bathroom, I have, well, is it the bathroom? This is like detergent for washing clothes because washing machines. And then I also have like bleach and stuff for the toilet, but I don't think you guys want to see bleach. And then last, but certainly not least for, I don't really know if this counts as like bathroom, but I kind of did like bathroom and laundry together. I have this like clothes source. So we have a dryer at home. The dryer at home doesn't really dry your clothes after like one cycle. If I'm paying to dry my clothes, they, they need to be dry. So I just got this so I don't have to pay for the dryer and I can just like air dry my clothes. So bedroom wise, I have a three quarter or like small double bed, which thank the Lord because like I have double beds at home. Just, who wants to sleep on a single bed? I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, first thing I got for that was pillows. I just got two pillows. I don't like sleeping with loads of pillows, loads of cushions. Like, I don't understand it. It hurts my neck. One pillow is like, all you need, double bed, two pillows, done. And then I also have a duvet. This is just a 10.5 tug duvet. I got this from Donnell. Love Donnell. 14 quid. Don't know if that's expensive or cheap, but feels great, nice and soft. Love to see it. Next thing I got for my room were these hangers. Just from the Poundland. The Poundland, yes. Pretty cheap, 10 in each pack. Also from Poundland, I got this reed diffuser. Like, it smells like lavender. It's really nice. And obviously you're not allowed candles, so just to give them a bit of like a fresh scent. From Costco, I got this like super soft, like massive throw thing. And I just got to like fold this and like lay it on the end of my bed so when it gets colder in winter, I can like snuggle and it's nice and soft. And like, if I'm feeling white, we can go white. If I'm feeling the gray, as I said, like, my kind of overall theme, I mean like the whole room's like theme is white and grey for like the actual accommodation, the way it's built. So then the bathroom's keeping white and grey and then my bedroom I'm doing like white grey and then like black with accents of like neon pink. And, like a little bit of vacuum just because of hangers but you know, bro. Next up I have this laundry basket, it's just like a pop up one, four pounds from Primark. Bed sheets, I got double because you can just like fold them over and I've got a three quarter bed. But number one, places don't really sell three quarter bed sheets. And also when I take it home, I have double beds at home. So, and then with that, I've got a fitted sheet as well. Gray fitted sheet and like a white fitted sheet. I have, um yeah, like two duvets, two fitted sheets. 
two sets of pillowcases. As I said, two right now is the magic number. Oh, this is kind of clothing, but it was in the bag anyway, so I'm just going to show you. I got like these cozy socks that are nice and soft, so when it gets cold, my feet can be nice and warm and cozy. Then I got like this neon LED light. I don't, I haven't actually opened it. My little brother has opened it for me. Thanks, TJ. I love that. But yeah, it's just like a lightning bolt and it's neon pink, so I'm going to stick that on my wall to give it a bit of colour because you know, like, as much as I love the neutrals. Black, grey and white might get a bit boring. Might need to spice up my life a bit. So I got a neon pink electric bulb. And then with that as well, I have this like neon pink light. It's just a wire here, but like, as you can see from the back, you can like fold it into like shapes and stuff. So, and then obviously like photos, these are just free prints. But what I'm doing with my photos is I'm like customizing them. So I'm kind of like drawing my own thing on them. Oh, that is one that my sister did for me. So gorgeous. But yeah, I'm like customising all of them, so it's not just like a regular picture, it's like I've spiced it up, I've made it fun, like, oh, this is like a nice little chemistry one from, with the gals from the old school. And then finally I've just got like white tack, because obviously like the walls are white to stick things up, don't want to leave marks, so I've got white tack. The only thing I still want to get from my room that I don't have is a plant, and I want like a black pot for it as well, but I think I might go and get one of those later today, because obviously... The real life plant, I don't want to like keep it in my house and pretend to kill it. If I'm going to kill it, I'd rather kill it when I get to uni, you know? But that is all my bedroom stuff. Yeah guys, so that's kind of everything I got. Obviously I've also got like more cleaning supplies, like water, toilet paper, shower gel, that kind of thing that I didn't show you because like, I'm hoping you would remember and it's common sense. Also for the girlies, don't forget like sanitary products and for my fellow black females, don't forget to stock up on like your hair care products and stuff before you go because some of you be going to uni using white people land and they won't have black hair care shops so make sure you stock up on all that stuff as well. If you guys have made it to the end of the video, honestly thank you because I'm assuming that this is going to be a long one. But as you're watching this, I'm officially in Manchester so yay, so excited. If you're also here, like hit me up, DM me on Insta, like it's freshers, let's meet up, let's go do something, you know, like always down to make a friend. Also, I was just thinking, if you guys want to see like a student meals video, like leave a like and a comment below. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if this is the kind of content that you want to see. And I'll see you guys in another video. Next video will be the move in day vlog, which I will probably be filming as you guys are watching this because I'm hoping to edit and upload it tomorrow, which is when I'm moving in. I'm moving in in less than 24 hours. Like, it's so exciting. You guys should hopefully get to meet some of my flatmates, see me move in, like the whole process. So it's it's going to be a good one. And then following that, it's Freshers Week. So I definitely keep subscribed and turn on like the little bell thing. So you actually get notifications when I post because it's all up in the air. I could be posting whenever, who knows. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.